Hey everybody, it's Brandy from Aritarawana. I hope everybody is doing well. Today we are going to do a seven card general tarot read uh, using tarot by number. So just a normal uh, playing card deck. Um, we're going to do a seven card position. So your first card represents the state of mind. Your second card represents your difficulties. Um, and this, your third card will deal with career and communication. Fourth card will represent romance and emotional relationships. Ooh. <laughs> um, five will deal with um, home and family matters. The sixth card will represent unconscious, the unconscious foundation. And seven, this card will reveal, reveal your future or possible outcome. Now, don't forget that everybody has free will. So if it... If this reading resonates with you, that's great. If not, just put it to the side. It's not for you. You don't want to try to fucking make it fit. But anyway, y'all. So. <laughs> I hope you like my emoji. Thanks to my awesome husband. He got me this phone for Father's Day. Because <sighs> he likes to um, buy nice things for me, I guess. And he fixed my car. Which was expensive. But I love him. So shout out to Ray. What up, babe? Me emojis, you emoji. Anyway, so let's work on the first card. So this card represents your state of mind. So your first card is, oh, 10 of spades. So someone overcame a whole bunch of obstacles. Um, so let's see what your state of mind. Um, there's the ending of something. Okay, so we got an ending um, based on your decision slash choices. Uh, you're feeling a little detached poss possibly from someone maybe from yourself so let's see what card number two is what are the difficulties oh it has to do with yourself so you know you are feeling like you need a new love or maybe you do have someone that came into your life because this is a card that represents your difficulties. So are you having problems creating? Um, are you, did you get somebody pregnant? <laughs> Cause it's the birth. So maybe it could be you have an issue with communication. Um, maybe you're being a little aggressive, maybe too eager um, about something that you shouldn't be. Mm -hmm, that's not for me to decide. Uh, but it, it's some, that's the potential of something, the creation of something, okay? So that has to do with the difficulties. So you're probably dabbling in something that ain't good for maybe yourself, your partner, you whatever. But that has to do with you, nobody else. So anyway, moving along. Number three, remember, deals with career and communications. So I'm not going to assume anything. I'm just going to flip the damn card. Oh, three. So it has to do with your surroundings. So, you know, um, you are possibly working on your teamwork, uh, some skill building, possibly, uh, maybe a new alignment with a new partner in your workplace, but this has to do with your surroundings. Um, you're giving time and energy to focusing or honing in on your skills. That's, that's always a plus. Um, but you might want to be careful with that because uh, that has to deal with your career and communication. So good teamwork, that's always a plus, but just be careful on how you're building those skills. You know what I mean? You don't need to go to dinner to build those skills, just saying. You can always like do an animoji through Messenger and work on it that way. Get your spouse involved. I work with my husband too. Like I give him great fucking ideas. I should be paid. Well, okay, let me shut up because he does pay me. <laughs> I love you, babe. All right, so... Card number four has to, it, this card has to deal with um, romance and emotional relationships. Oh, shit. I really hope this is a good card. All right. Oh, again, has to do with your surroundings. <sighs> well, so someone has a better understanding. Someone is being better compensated uh, there are some minor frictions um, you did all that you could uh, within this um, your your uh, blah, blah. Uh, what the hell is this called for your romance and emotional relationships but did you really 
Did you, you know, are you feeling like you're better off without somebody? Are you, you know, are you feeling like you did all that you could do, but maybe you really didn't? Maybe you're just feeling like that because you don't want to put in the extra time and effort because you're tired, you know, because you've been working a lot or something. You know, don't take that out on your partner or your home life. That's not cool because that's, um, you know, you're having minor frictions and setbacks and that will affect your relationship. But um, it depends on what you do with, with that knowledge that you've gained, you know. Let me just look a little bit more. All right. So let's check with your home and family matters, see what's going on there. So this, uh, it's a big joker. So this has to do with big, extreme external events. Um, things that are out of your control, um, you know, you, you're feeling like you can't change them, which you can't because they're, they're, they're out of your control. It's an external event, it, but it is, it is affecting you um, in that situation. All right. Um, that's dealing with the him and family matters. So it's chaos, uprooting. Maybe somebody has to move for this new position. Maybe someone has to travel a lot more. I'm not really sure. All right. Let's go ahead and um, I would just say for that, for the card number five, for the, the big external joker, um, for those extreme external events, I really, really think that you need to communicate. That is your best thing because you are only as good as your partner feels. You are only as good as your partner works and what they put out. Um, so I really think that especially if you are coupled up with someone, you definitely need to um, be working on those communication skills because somebody could get lost in the sauce. Um, and unfortunately, that can end a relationship. You know, it don't matter if you've been together five years or 80 years. That can end relationships. So communication is key, people. Open, honest communication. All right. This is the sixth card. And again, this represents your unconscious foundation, which is, oh my God. Now it's a little joker. <sighs> so, um, but this isn't bad. This is internal changes. So whatever dynamic is going on, it's because you're changing inside. And I'm not talking like, you know, um, it's like you found yourself type thing. Um, you're, you're feeling beautiful inside and outside and it's reflecting that you changed for the better. Um, you know, these are, these are extreme internal changes within yourself. You know, no one else can control them, but you. So it, it's looking really good right there. So I wouldn't worry about the un unconscious foundation part because it seems to be all right. So you're evolving, you're, you're changing, and it's for the better. Sometimes, you know, change takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. All right. So seven, this card reveals your future possible outcomes. Well, we all know how this goes. Anybody can change your, your future, your reality, because you, you reap what you sow. You manifest. We're all manifestors. So we need to choose wisely with what we say and what we think, okay? So you need to continue to give your grand support or grand support will be coming to you, all right? Having to do with like um, emotional support, love, a listening ear, someone who is caring, someone who is wise, someone who is compassionate towards others. So you, you have that, you, you're giving, all right? Grand support with positivity, love, positive affirmations and things like that so but that's all i got for you guys that was the clothesline of life spread from the um housewives terror um well that's all i got so uh deuces